finished dinner at Bar Taco, which was lovely as always. How was dinner, guys? It was amazing. It was, it was good. Really good. Tacos were good. Get the swordfish. Hey, guys. It's a little bit later in the week, and it's the day before my um, show up exam for my peas rotation. Rotation is finally ending. Thank goodness. I feel like this rotation has dragged out. Even though it's been a pretty chill rotation, I've had like a lot of days off. Um, but just I got to the library. Um, about to do some studying here for a few hours to prep. And also, I got a new bag from Target. Normally, I have my one shoulder bag, but whenever I carry my laptop, which is um, pretty often like the weight on the bag is just too much on one shoulder. So I finally had to make that switch and got a new bag. good um, morning study session I did one practice exam and then I did um, some sketchy micro this pediatrics has like a lot of infectious disease um, a lot of diseases where there's like maybe a rash fever a few other symptoms you have to determine what it is so brushing up on that with some sketchy med but about to head home just take a little break so one of my most frequently asked questions is you know how do you manage your time how are you efficient with your time and you know how do you find time to do things outside of med school and honestly it truly is hard to find time to sit down and do other things and you may think you don't have the time to maybe read a book or do something for self-help and improvement well my first tip for you guys is to minimize social media honestly it's a time sink and then my second tip is to consider the app blink uh blinkist and so what this app is, is an online service that pretty much summarizes books in audio form. So it takes thousands of books and it takes the highlights from it and it puts it into 15 minute intervals so that you can digest all of that information in a short amount of time. So you don't have to sit down and read an entire book, but you can still absorb like valuable information from it. And the books range from things like self-help, motivation, business, technology, and health. So I like Blinkist because I can absorb so much um, information in such a short amount of time. And some of the books that I have in my library include like motivational books, um, how to be efficient, self-help books. And I generally listen to it on my commute. So again, they're like 15 minute highlights and I can li listen to maybe about two or three on my commute. So two books that I recently listened to is Be Fearless as well as um, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, which I highly recommend that you guys check those two out. Um, and if you think you'll be interested in this kind of app, I do have a link below. So the first 100 people that sign up will get unlimited access for free for one week. And then also if you uh, use that link, you get 25% off premium content. All right, guys, so make sure to check out that if you're interested. The link is going to be in the description box. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and finish up my study day, and I'll catch up with you guys on exam day. And exam is done. Honestly, it wasn't so bad. 110 questions. Pediatrics is over. Definitely takes a special kind of person to treat sick kids. Um, not sick kids in the sense of oh cold runny nose or something like that but like sick kids who are in the in the hospital dealing with a lot of different issues um overall it was a great rotation though and now uh, i have this next week off and what i'll be doing is preparing for a step two cs which i take next friday um on the 30th so i've already talked about um my previous vlog what Step 2 CS consists of, it's like the clinical patient encounter exam um, that you take. It's two parts of step two, that and the actual multiple choice exam. So I'm taking a clinical exam next Friday. So I have this uh, next full week off to prepare. I've been preparing, um, you know, throughout this rotation little by little. Um, I mentioned before that this is the book that I'm using. I've gotten through this whole book uh, so far. It has 44 cases in there. 
half the cases um i did just going through on my own then half of them i did practicing with um stanley like as my practice patient and there's a big difference between like doing it on your own and having the real simulation of a patient so um yeah if you can like get a classmate or somebody to practice with that would be the best thing but over the next week i'm going to try to get through all the cases one more time so i'm just going to finish up eating um take the rest of the evening off and then pick the studying back up tomorrow i'm recording <laughs> so yesterday was supposed to be my day of relaxation after my exam um I ended up babysitting my niece and nephew and it was just complete exhaustion like my niece is three it's it's not hard babysitting her my nephew is six months and he is now like crawling around every minute i had to keep my eye on him pick him up put him back to the center like my back was hurting by the end of the night um safe to say no kids for a while uh for me I don't know how parents in med school do it, man. Kudos to y'all because it's absolute no for me. Anywho, um, currently at Rooms to Go doing some furniture shopping with my mom and my niece. Wasn't it last night so busy? Ezra was all over the place, right? Yeah, I could have stayed him soft. Yeah. Away. Yeah, he was crawling away the whole night. I couldn't tell him to stop. I couldn't tell him to stop either. All right, gonna continue this furniture shopping with mom. Good morning, guys. Um, it is exam day. I just got to the testing center. It is 7:30. Have to be in at 7:45. Um. So with Step 2 CS, there's only five testing centers in the country, and thankfully Atlanta is one of them, so I didn't have to like travel out um, anywhere else. But it's going to be an eight-hour exam. Um, we have like two 10-minute breaks and then one 30-minute break um, for lunch, which they do provide lunch, but I brought some snacks with me. So yeah, I think it's about time to walk in. I'll see you guys after. Bye. So I just finished. Um... As you can see, we have to cover up our name tag and what school we're from. But my initial thoughts is I think I passed. There's definitely like some ones that threw me off. There's about three tricky cases on there. Um, but the day went by super, super fast. So the exam has 12 cases. Um, we did three, then took a 10 minute break. Did another three, then had a 30 minute lunch break. Did another three had a 10 minute break and then finished off with the final three um and i actually like the way that it was broken up doing it in spurts of three like that and then you kind of regroup yourself afterwards maybe think about some things you want to do differently um overall i think it went well uh the cs the first aid cs book is highly recommended to um help prep for that and it is a pass fail exam so i'll find i will find out if i pass or not like early october it does take a little while before the scores come in um but yeah it's friday labor day weekend um three-day weekend and then my emergency medicine away rotation starts next week tuesday um it is an away rotation but it isn't in atlanta it's a different program um in atlanta so i'm looking forward to that and i'm gonna try to quickly edit this vlog and get it up on sunday um if you guys have any questions about step 2 cs the process was preparing or my experience with it leave in the comment section below and i'll try my best to answer make sure to give the video a thumbs up make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next vlog which will be emergency medicine bye